It's fucking Friday. All right, guys. So I missed last week. That's my bad. But I got a new family member. Look at this guy. His name's Oliver. Oh my God, he's biting my feet. All right, so I've noticed that like recently my videos have had a lot to do with like the theme of school. And I think that's because it's like back to school season and like that's where my head is right now. If you guys didn't know, I'm a seventh year senior in high school. So that means I've fucked up quite a bit. What I wanna talk about today is for the kids that like get bullied in school. And like, don't worry, this isn't gonna be like a motivational thing. I'm gonna teach you how not to get bullied. We all go through that shit. I don't care if you're the coolest kid in school or if you're the lamest, like you get bullied by someone. So I wanna talk about how to deal with that. So bullying is like so common that they have the classes in school and they try to teach you not to be a bully and how to deal with bullies. But I don't think that they're teaching you right. So this is gonna be my version of teaching you. In those classes, they tell you that the best way to deal with bullies is to just walk away, don't engage, and tell a teacher or an adult, somebody who can do something. I don't think that's right. Because if you tell the teacher, you're gonna look like a bitch, you know, and I get it, but then it kind of just sets the tone for them to keep fucking with you because they know it messes with you. A lot of people also say that you gotta confront your bullies, you gotta fight them. That's not gonna work either because you're gonna get your ass handed to you. So I'm gonna teach you how to actually deal with these bullies with the few simple steps of TS. Excuse me, Mr. Wright, what the hell is TS? I'm glad you asked. TS is talking shit. So there's a few simple ways that you can go at talking shit. When it comes to your bully, your bully's gonna come up and probably insult you first. Very unlikely that they're gonna physically assault you as their first move, because they wanna hurt you. So when they come over, they're gonna use TS on you as well. What you have to do is you gotta use TS back. See, there's different skill levels to TS. You can start on the first tier. You're gonna have things like your mom jokes and really lame, you know, attempts at a vague insult. On the second tier, you're gonna have more intimate things, such as making fun of their clothes or making fun of like their personality. Those are the things you're gonna focus on. And then we have tier three, and tier three is the most vicious, brutal shit. You're gonna hurt some feelings. Because the thing about TS, talking shit, is that you're not trying to hurt them in the moment. You're trying to plant a seed that's going to eat away at them. And they're just going to think about it and it's going to fuck with them. And that's what we're trying to get to is tier three. You might have to start with tier one, talking with your homies, your friends, and talking shit to them. See how it goes. You know, throw some jokes out there and see how it feels. But see, talking shit doesn't come naturally. I got good at it because people made fun of me and I didn't like being bullied. I had to get the jump. You gotta be the first one to talk shit. So when he walks over, rather than being like, hey, cool clothes, dipshit, that's not gonna work. You're just gonna get your ass handed to you. Instead, you wanna th focus on things that are like gonna hurt. And you might have to do some research to see if you can make it vague enough that it might hit home, that's when it's gonna hurt the most. Instead, like when he walks over, you're like, how's your parents divorce? Saw your mom moving her shit out the other day. Maybe they're not getting divorced, but it might get in their head that, oh shit, things haven't been good at home. And that's when you fuck with them. Anybody can win a physical fight, but if you win a physical fight, they're gonna get pissed off and they're gonna come back with a vengeance and kick your ass some more. If you can plant the seed that you just keep fucking with them, that they can't even say anything to you, that's when it gets bad. Because then they don't even wanna come near you because they've got their own shit going on. The biggest problem with talking shit though is that you gotta be able to back it up. I learned that the hard way because I would run my mouth to anybody I could. I would talk shit and just keep going and keep going. That's not the way to do it. You gotta drop subtle ones. You gotta build off what they say. You can't just keep being an asshole because that's when you get your ass kicked. It happened to me by my friend's dad in a Hooters parking lot. But that's another story for a different day. But see, what I'm saying is that you gotta fuck with these bullies. If that means like crippling them from the inside out, you've won. The best way to talk shit is that if you get one of their friends to laugh. If you get one of their friends to laugh, it's over. Cause then their own crew turned on them. See, it's kind of like fighting fire with fire. I'm not condoning bullying. I'm just saying the best way to stick up for yourself is to talk shit first. It's guaranteed that you're gonna get your ass whooped. But if you keep it going, 
they're not going to know what to do because they're like, fuck, I get to kick the shit out of him, but I also get my feelings hurt. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. Another big part of talking shit is don't let them know what gets to you. So if they're saying shit to you, you just got to brush it off. Even if it's so personal, you just got to come right back. Not even skip a beat. They're like, hey, you're fat. You don't even let it hit you and you respond, oh, well, at least I didn't lose points for misspelling my own name on the test. See, there's a lot of keys to this shit. You figure it out as you go along and you're going to get your ass whooped, but that's kind of what builds the character and you learn like what you can get away with and what you can't. So I'd say the best thing that you can do is try it out, see how it goes and own this fucking school year. If you guys like my videos, hit the like button, subscribe, share that shit or not. I get it. Until next time.